Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about potentially rebuilding a thermostatic mixing valve. Now we do get customer calls and they'll say, well my TMV uh, is giving me a problem. Is there any user, user serviceable components within that valve? Well, to a certain extent there are, but also they're not. With respect to the check valves and the strainers internally, yes, those are cleanable and repairable. So what I've got here, this is a typical, this is a high temperature TMV. It'd be used in, say, radiant floor heating. But if it doesn't work correctly, it's starting to not give you the flow rate that you need, that could be because the internal screens are plugged. On the inlet to both the hot and the cold, we have cone strainers inside. So if the flow rate coming out of the valve all of a sudden starts to diminish, yes, you can disconnect your unions, pull out the cone strainer, and thoroughly clean that screen. That, any debris on there is going to be an impediment to flow. So that's something that you can service with respect to a thermostatic mixing valve. Now another issue that may come up is they'll call and they'll say, John, I turn on my cold water faucet, but hot water comes out. I know there's a problem in the system. What could it potentially be? Well, inside the thermostatic mixing valve, on both the hot and the cold inlet, you have check valves. And what those check valves do is they prevent the hot water from migrating into the cold water side. Typically, in a normal plumbing system, your hot water may be at a slightly higher pressure than your cold water side. And that's due to the fact that the water is experiencing thermal expansion due to being heated. So in the event that we foul these check valves internally, that hot water will bleed right through the valve and go into the cold water side. And again, that's a sign of opening the cold water faucet and you get warm water coming out. We know the check valves are fouled. So what I've got here is another TMV where I've pulled the check valve out of it. Just a very small little check valve and these are repairable. We'll just give it a little push and the back will come off of it. The spring will come out and ultimately that exposes the little poppet and we can change this rubber seal, or if it's just a little chip of debris on there, we can thoroughly clean it. Once we get that cleaned and put back into the TMV, that will stop that cross connection between the hot and the cold. Now, in the event that this little check valve has become damaged, let's say the debris has harmed the seat inside or it's scarred at the poppet such that it can't rebuild, this is a user replaceable component. We can supply new check valves for your thermostatic mixing valve. Standard part number, just something you give us a call at Zern Wilkins, we'll give you that part number and you can order that from your wholesaler. So again, cleaning the screen, repairing the check valve, those are things that you can do with a thermostatic mixing valve. Now sometimes the customer will say, well over the course of time, it's no longer acting correctly. The temperature's drifting back and forth. I think inside of the valve it's bad. Do you have a repair kit for that? No, we do not. And the reason we don't, like a temperature and pressure relief, relief valve or other valves that are safety valves, a thermostatic mixing valve is also a safety valve. This valve prevents scalding when we turn on a hot water faucet. So being a safety valve, we don't allow the repair internally. It's just too dangerous to do so. So once you have a TMV that locks itself up, we're going to request that you replace the valve. Now what would cause that? Well, in essence, you get what's called the tea kettle effect. Many of you got a teapot on your stove and you look inside and it's got all that white calcium in there. The same thing can happen to the inside of the thermostatic mixing valve. And ultimately that calcium will gum everything up to where the shuttle valve can no longer function correctly. So again, in the event that you're seeing these drifting temperatures and you feel solidly that the TMV is no longer functioning, we're going to strongly suggest that you replace that thermostatic mixing valve. If you have any questions whatsoever about what we've talked about here, do not hesitate to call us at Zurn Industries and we'll walk you through this process of cleaning the checks, cleaning the strainers, even identifying the potential failure of the valve. We're here to support you folks and we strongly encourage you to give us a call.